Hi, my name is Stephen Halastic, I'm one of the managing partners of Financing Solutions. And today what we're going to cover is why nonprofits use their line of credit. Why do they typically set it up? And definitely the number one reason why a nonprofit is going to use their line of credit is because they don't want to miss payroll and funding was delayed. And that's usually the reason why somebody is going to set up a line of credit. Now, what a lot of executives don't know uh, at a nonprofit is that it's actually illegal to miss payroll or to delay payroll or to partially pay um, payroll. And so often nonprofits learn about that um, and then they come to us. Uh, some of the other reasons why a nonprofit is going to use their line of credit is for emergency expenses, for delays in funding uh, at the end of the fiscal year. That's very typical. Uh, could be because they want to start a program now before the reimbursement funding comes in. Uh, it could be an opportunity that came across their desk, uh, maybe a used truck that's a good buy or something like that. And the cash flow doesn't support them getting the, um, uh, the, the opportunity right now. So uh, what a lot of nonprofits are always uh, known for is to be very conservative for money, and, and that's, that's fine. The line of credit often solves a problem uh, for the nonprofit um, that they always uh, have had, uh, and really at a really a fraction of the cost, a really inexpensive way to kind of smooth things over. And, but, you know, in the past what's happened is banks just don't, didn't like working with nonprofits and for really two key reasons. One of them is that a bank wants collateral to back up a line of credit and number two is a bank wants someone to personally guarantee the line of credit and that person guaranteeing and needs to have a significant amount of assets. Actually, there's a third reason too and the third reason is, is that uh, banks are going to look at your accounts receivable and if a government agency is paying you, then they're not going to like that because if you default on the loan, the bank cannot get access to the government paying them directly. So what financing has, financing solutions, my company has done over the years is, and now we're one of the number one providers of lines of credit to nonprofits, is we've kind of taken away all those barriers that a bank uh, had. You know, all our funding is private, so we can do whatever we, we want as far as providing a, a, a line of credit. Our, our line of credit costs nothing to set up, it costs nothing to get in place, and nothing until it's being used. So it really makes it one of the, you know, the best uh, backup plans because when you have an issue, it's there for you. If, it, if you don't have an issue, it doesn't cost you anything. And that's different than what happens at a bank. They typically will charge you if you're not being used if the line's not being used. So um, the, the second thing is that it requires no collateral and there's no personal guarantees, unless in the case of fraud. Uh, and fraud would be defined as, let's say for example, you take the money from the line of credit for your nonprofit, you transfer it to your bank account and then you leave the nonprofit. That would be considered fraud. But if you close your nonprofit down, let's say through a normal course of action, um, uh, because maybe you lost all your funding or whatever the reason is, then uh, you would not be responsible for paying the money back. The line of credit, uh, uh, the best way to kind of see how much you approve for um, is to fill out a two minute online application and uh, then uh, we'll send you a written offer and someone will call you to go over that line of credit. That way we can answer all any questions you have. Um, now, in order to qualify for the line of credit, you, your organization uh, needs to have at least a $400,000 in revenue a year. That's revenue a year. And, um, and you need to have board approval. So your board needs to know that you're moving forward with the line of credit. Um, after you decide to move forward, we're also gonna ask for an updated 990 bank statements, a canceled check, and the driver's license of the person who's gonna be signing for the line of credit, or you know, signing the contract. So, um, the, uh, the other thing you should know about Financing Solutions is, is that we are five star and A plus rated by the Better Business Bureau and by Google reviews as well. And uh, the, once you get the line of credit set up, which typically takes 48 to 72 hours, what we'll do is set you up in our web portal 
on our website so that you can log in that's secured with password protected and you can uh, request funds, um, see your balance, make a payoff. Uh, and when you request funds, uh, you can have it delivered the same day, the next day, or a certain date. It's very, very easy. Um, you can also call our office or email us as well. The line stays in place for a year, and then every year we renew it by asking for the same type of documents, which is like an updated 990 and recent bank statements. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to visit our website for, or if you'd like to apply. It's www.fscreditline.com forward slash NP for nonprofit. Again, that's fscreditline.com forward slash NP. Or you can call us at 862-207-4118. And uh, other than that, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Hope this information was helpful and I hope we can help you in the future. Thank you.